Hello, 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 Virgo. This is Nikki. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, um, if you've been around for a while, thank you so much for your continued support. I love you all immensely. Thank you so very much. All right. Just to let you all know, I'm kind of switching things up a little bit. Um, so I'm going to do two readings tonight and maybe a short. Um, and I'm also going to start posting in the daytime. Um, I remember when I wasn't working, um, when my mother was sick, I would do all of my readings during the day and post them in my, and my channel grew like really, really like huge. So the numbers were, were different than they are now. So I checked my algorithm and, and all of that stuff. So the best time for me to post would be any, any time between noon and two. So I'm going to start posting videos. I'm going to do them at night when I get home, like I'm doing now, but I'm going to save them and post them the next day. Okay. Hopefully that will help the channel grow. Cause it's just pretty stagnant. It's just so crazy that I put in all of this effort excuse me, and nobody's watching the channel. So when people get home from work, like five or six o'clock, they're tired. They're not going to watch anything on YouTube or, you know, or anything like, like in depth or anything. So I'm just going to switch it up a little bit and uh, post in the daytime. All right. So let's get started. Thank you all for your support. All right. We got, um, get back to the, get back to the basics. Ooh, we've been talking about this a lot. Okay, getting back to the basics, Virgo. Okay, Virgo. What is your energy today? Someone is working against you behind your back and um, dissatisfaction with life. So somebody who has a real fucked up life, um, maybe, you need to just, maybe you just need to distance yourself from this person. I feel like the ties have been broken between the two of you. Um, you know, it could be anything negative about them or they think anything negative about you. But I feel I feel you need to get back to the basics. Just leave that person alone. All right. Um, yeah, you need to. This person is, is tripping. All right. They're they're <laughs> they're a rat um, here in this energy. So for whatever reason, you know, maybe you had an argument with this person or there could be something that 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 they're going through, but they're taking it out on you. Someone working against you behind your back. And because they got a real fucked up life or things not right for them or whatever the situation is. All right. But you need to just, you know, get back to basics and just you have an understanding heart, but you know, keep that person at a distance. All right. Yeah, waiting for news, a package or a letter. Maybe you're waiting for something important to come in the mail. Or this could also be something that you don't even see coming. It could be an opportunity. All right. Uh, success, successfully overcoming a problem. There's a problem that you're going through, but you're going to successfully overcome it, even if this difference between you and somebody close to you. Uh, I do see somebody is cinching their waist. Okay, I talked about this, I think, in a couple of other readings this week. Uh, maybe doing something different, maybe even deciding to wear a waist trainer or something like that if you get that bad boy up and zipped. Okay Successfully overcoming a problem with this person who is working against you happiness and well-being it, it, it's like it behooves you to just let negativity go you don't need that in your life right now i have a new home with a new attitude sweeping old shit out and bringing in new shit old opportunities things that didn't work out for you friendships that didn't work sweep that shit right out of your life Virgo, and move on with your move on all right close the door to anything in your life that's a negative in the, in the, that does not feel right for you although or that is not healthy for you sweep it out don't sweep it under the rug because it's still going to be there. Sweep that shit out, all right? Or sweep that person out of your life. Okay. An arrogant, boastful person you should not cross, okay? Um, I feel like this person could, could have some, you know, I feel like, I don't want to say that they're they're dangerous. They're, they're just not a healthy person for you to hang around, all right? They're not, they're, they're not. And I feel like this person could be very unpredictable. You don't know what they're capable of doing to you or someone else. I would just let it go. Let him or her go. Okay. They may be going through some difficult times and, and, you know, maybe, uh, putting, taking it out on you or whatever, but hell, you don't have to deal with this shit if you don't want to. Okay. You, well, you don't have to deal with it at all. You know, bounce, let this person stew in their own juices, uh, or deal with whatever, you know, life thing that that's that that they're going through, 
And, you know, I would like to say don't take it personal, but that's kind of hard. Pay attention to your health. Okay, you don't need anybody in your life fucking with you. Just just do you. You got enough of your problems of your own. You got enough problems of your own. And and some people don't know how to handle their problems. They want to take it off on anybody and everybody else around them. Especially if somebody has tried to do for them, you know, uh, be befriend this person or, or be under, uh, an understanding sibling or family member. Uh, and then they want to take shit out on you that's not that's not your fault all right yeah but pay attention to your health don't let this person raise your blood pressure up you know you you do you and let them do them sometimes you gotta you do you know love a person from afar or sometimes you know people are in your life for a season but spirit is saying sweep that person out of your life deep friendship with someone of the same sex and someone going out of your life or the end of a situation yeah you know, you got some friends already. Some friends aren't meant to be your friends for life. Okay. They were in your reason, in your life for a reason in a season and it's time to move on. You keep those same old friends that you've always had. Okay. They're never, ever going to be like your bestie, your best friend, the person you grew up with, the person who's you, who you've told everything to. They're not going to, your uh, best friend, bestie, BFF, however you want to put it, they're not going to take their life's problems and issues out on you when they've hit rock bottom, okay? They're going to be there. For, if you hit rock bottom, they're going to hit rock bottom right there with you and help scoop your ass up off that motherfucking floor. Get your ass up. I'm not going to let you fail. But you got other people who go through what they go through. They don't know how to handle it. They don't know how to process it and take it out on you. Accuse you of doing some things that you haven't done, okay? Keep those those people in your life who has been there with you through thick and thin, forever and it's gonna always be with you through thick and thin forever but those people those non-sequential people who you only have possibly maybe recently met or has have known quite a few years but they'll never ever be that best friend all right they can't be nobody can ever take that spot all right and that, that's over with someone going out of your life or the end of a situation you know let it go you know no worries don't worry yourself about this you know, I see your wish is being granted. Ooh, you want to get married? Mm hmm You want to get married? You got a, you got a, a, a relationship coming to you, all right? I don't, hear, I don't care, you know, it's going to come when it comes, okay? But when, when, when spirit feels that you are ready for a relationship or a connection, maybe you're just not ready for one right now, okay? I had a dream last night, y'all. Mm hmm Here, let me tell you. It's time to go on vacation. My boss just told me today he's taking a two-week vacation. He might not come back. He might not come back, but he's taking a vacation. Okay. Maybe you need to go on vacation, Virgo. Uh, let me tell you about this dream. So <laughs> I was in the, in the bed. You know, it was a a, a dream, a, a SEX dream. Okay. And <laughs> the guy's name was Luis. Luis. Okay. Luis. Okay. Um, I don't need to tell you what happened in, in, in that kind of dream. You know what you know what it is to have a dream like that. But let's just say, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it was intense. Okay, he had black hair, um, cold black, black hair, kind of like Elvis. His how his hair was black like Elvis. Um, oh yeah. Talk about talk about. <laughs> let me shut up. <laughs> but it was wow mm -hmm. so if i ever meet a guy named luis i don't know if if the guy was mexican or i know he wasn't my same race or culture it was something different about him but that's why i feel like we're going to start meeting people who are not of our same race or culture they're going to be different but you're going to fit with that person okay mm -hmm. let me tell you something about that dream oh my gosh <laughs> so that's all i'm gonna say um oh yeah mm-hmm Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't say too much, but, you know. I got me some, um, what is the stuff my friend gave me for my birthday? Some kind of wine. I don't usually drink sweet wine. Moscato. This is okay. I don't really drink sweet wine. I like mine's, um, hard. Not hard. Oops. <laughs> hard. Okay. The guy was hard in the drink, but. Mm. Anyway. That's Moscato. I like dry wine, but I need a drink today. Today was crazy at work. It was, it's been a crazy week. Okay, let's get started. Your energy right now, dealing with people and misunderstandings. Virgo, dealing with people and misunderstandings. At the store. 
I feel like this person could, I, could be up in their feelings. That's too many. Um, I think you got to uh, pick and choose your, your battles. Pick and choose what you're not going to even deal with. All right. I feel like you've been been there for a lot of people. You helped a lot of people release themselves from negative situations or situations that weren't good for them. But there there has to be an ending somewhere for you. And there has to be enough of, of negative energy around you where you say, oh, you know what, I'm going to put my foot down. Excuse me, I'm going to put my motherfucking foot down. I'm not going to deal with this. I don't have to deal with this. I got, you know, I got my own problems. I'm not going to let you add to my problems too. You know, so I feel like this situation is going to end. This friendship or relationship is going to end because like I said, you don't need any kind of negativity in your life. You got so much going on right now and you don't need nothing else to hold you down or keep you back or, or keep you held down or make you sad and upset and you've done nothing wrong. You know, so I, I think at one point, even though when you rent, when you end this relationship or the friendship, they're going to realize like, oh shit, what did I do? What did I do? You know, it's over with. Ain't no going back. Ain't no correcting this shit. We are done. We are through. We are over. Kaputz. Kiss my coochie. Okay? That's the kind of energy I'm talking about. All right? So we have we have here another opportunity for you to live your life. For you to do what you need to do in your life to perfect yourself. To make your life better. Feel better. You know, I see you moving on. You know, um, it's, it's not about, you know, a relationship. This could be a friendship. Or you... Um, could be a relationship or I just feel like some strong energy around friendship. It could be some people in your family who you're not talking to right now because they always take you there. They always got something shitty to say, you know, move on and don't feel bad about it. Don't feel guilty about it. You got to do what's best for you. Okay. There's a difference between a misunderstanding and what the hell did I do? You know, so you got to let it go. You know, they got some issues that I feel like that, that they are going through. I feel like they're picking up the, the energy of maybe somebody else or uh, maybe somebody else ticked them off and they don't know how to uh, digest that energy or, or where to put that energy, you know, or maybe they just don't understand, you know, whatever the situation is, they took, they took it, they took it out or will take it out on you. And you're questioning yourself like, what did I do? I didn't, I didn't do anything, you know? All I did was try to be your friend. All I tried to try to do was be there for you. But what did I do wrong other than try to, you know, listen to you, help you? You know what I'm saying? That kind of stuff. So I don't know. I feel like this person's possibly going through some things and they don't know how to um, how to talk about it or, or where to put it. You know, they feel maybe they're hopeless in some aspect in their life. Um, but definitely you need to find your peace and serenity here and let it go. OK, uh, let it go for your benefit. Uh, you, somebody took it, be having some issues with their belly, with their stomach pain, with stomach pain. Um, I don't know if maybe you're pregnant, maybe you have a lump in your stomach. You don't know where that's coming from. Maybe get that checked. Are you pregnant and you don't know about it? Somebody's having something. I don't know if something's going on with your belly button. I've never heard of an infected belly button. Maybe you got a a uh, a belly ring or something like that or, or something maybe infected there or something but two do you have something been something going on with your colon maybe um had a colon a colonectomy like i had a colon a colonectomy a few years ago uh maybe you, you had a colonoscopy uh possibly celiac disease or something with your colon you know virgos have issues with their stomachs so digestive issues too maybe finding some something to drink for your um constipation or something like that. Taking care of your feet. Maybe somebody has some issues with their feet, like arthritis. I got my toe. My toe is swollen from arthritis. Maybe you're having the same kind of issues. It could be with the weather. We had a lot of rain here over the past night, 24 hours. But yeah, you got so much other things to be worried about. You got your life, your health, uh, your family, and you, all this other shit. You know, people accusing you of doing something you didn't do, or you're not. You're maybe arguing with somebody and you don't know why. Some some disagreements. Let that shit go. Mm -mm. No way, Jose. No. And don't feel bad or guilty for, for dismissing this person. If if they got some shit to, to say to you, kindly ignore it. Okay? Kindly ignore it. Hidden secrets can harm you. I have a reconciliation. Don't reconciliate with this person. Now, if you don't want to, beware of self-delusion, Virgo. Uh, peace and harmony. You want to keep your peace and harmony in your life? Dislocate some people out of your life and see how good you feel then. We got heartache over what you no longer have. See, I feel like whatever this person, <clears throat> you didn't know what this that this person was capable of doing and saying, saying the things that they have said to you. 
okay? And, you know, when they realize what they did, okay? When when they realize what they did, here, you know, they didn't hurt you, they didn't say some harmful, harmful and hurtful things to you, called you names and all of that other kind of stuff, you need to move on, let that go. Give your time and your peace and your friendship to somebody who deserves it because they're going to come back and want to fix things. They're going to regret what they've done with you, what they've done to you, what they've said to you. All right. They're going to regret that shit. Mm -mm. Nope. I have here beware, beware of self-delusion. They're, they're, they're delusional. Okay. Seeing things, you know, telling you or saying something that's not true about you. It's them. It's not you. It's them. All right. Beware of self delusion, peace and harmony. You know, and, and this is them. That that this 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 is this delusional person who is in your life. Move on. If you want peace and harm if you want peace and harmony in your life, if you want to keep the peace and harmony in your life, drop the dead weight, Virgo. Okay? Drop the dead weight. You ain't gotta deal with that shit if you if you don't have to. You know, if you don't want to. If you wanted to do that, fine. But no. Mm -mm, you don't have to. You shouldn't. Heartache over what you no longer have. I feel like this person's going to, you know, it's going to feel really bad because your friendship with them is completely over. They, but they said some really, really hurtful things to you. You know, it hurts you so much because you as a Virgo, you do so much to, to care for people, to love people, to treat people, everybody alike. But when they accuse you of doing something you didn't do and you know you didn't do it and they've called you out your name and, and said some hurtful things to you, you know, that hurts like hell. But in the end, you got the best thing for you to do is let that person go. Because what they've said or what they've done, uh-uh, no, no, no. I got April. Maybe that's their birth month or something like this. Maybe you started hooking up with this person or your friendship started in April. All right? But, yeah, this is a new season. <clears throat> this is, is you. You know, we stressed out enough. We're Virgos. We worry about everything. Don't worry about this. Let the shit go. All right? Okay, Virgo. Well, should Virgo know about this, this situation? What do you need to know about this situation, this person? What's going on with this person? What is going on with this person, Virgo? What's going on with this person? We got the Emperor. Ten of Pentacles. The Page of Cups. Um, I feel like this person has really, you know, pushed a lot of people away in their life, though. Um, I, I knew that Empress was, was going to show up. <laughs> so... You've been, a, you've been there for that person through a lot of things, you know, um... But but I feel like it's time to move on. I, I feel like there's something that was said though, you know, between between you all. I think that you were thick as thieves. You know, you told each other things and and spoke to each other and and just you know cared about each other. You know, but I feel like that that somebody said something. I have the emperor and the empress here, so this could be your energy and theirs, male or female, two men, two women, however, take it how it resonates. But I feel like somebody said something to the other person that was it wasn't nice. How could you say that to me? They're down down on you. They are are calling you names and, and you know and just for what? You know, what the heck did you do to this person, Virgo? If anything, you know? And they're angry as F at you. But for what? What could you have done to this person to make this person talk to you, to speak to you the way that they have? And you know that you haven't done anything wrong, but, but they feel that you did. All right. I don't know what it was, but, but you know what? Mm -mm. It's time to move on. I'm not going to let people talk to you any kind of way. Remember you're a Virgo, but you got to self-compose. Okay. Especially if you work with this person or something like that. So I feel like, yeah, it's time to move on from this person. Uh, -uh I'm not going to let you talk to me like that. You out your damn mind. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like you were there for each other, for one another, for for uh, tough times and stuff like that. You help this person realize or they help you realize that, you know, this is not always going to last. Last, I'm going to be there for, for you whenever you need me and vice versa, you know. But, <clears throat> yeah, it's time to move on. You got to... 
you move, you got to move on. I feel like this person, like I said, this person is possibly going through some things. They're, I feel like they're getting rid of the wrong people or persons in their life. And it's just sad that, that it had to be this way, but that's just the way it is. It's like, what the hell did I do? Okay. What the hell did I say to, to, to have you to, for you to treat me this way? You know, they said something very hurtful and you wonder what the hell did I do? All right. Hope that message resonates. Talk to y'all later.